The Pistons now have six lottery picks from the last five drafts on their roster. Troy Weaver continues to collect talent, and the Pistons general manager is kind enough to join us now. Uh, Troy, appreciate the time. Uh, well, take us into the thinking behind the deal that was made yesterday, and how does James Wiseman fit into the plan here? No, we uh, excited to add James to the group. Uh, he fits in because we need some additional uh, help up front. Um, I stated earlier um, to compete at a high level in the East, uh, you have to have guys up front. I mean, you look at Boston, Milwaukee, Philly, and Cleveland, they all have formidable bigs and uh, they really control the game on the glass. And uh, we want to not just put together a team uh, that can play uh, against certain teams, we want to play against everyone and we want to compete against the best. And we needed to add to the front line and uh, when James became available, uh, we were aggressive in, in trying to attain him. There was a lot of interest in Boyan Bogdanovich. We heard Alex Burke's name mentioned as well. At the end of the day, why didn't it make sense to move either one of those players? Yeah, I mean, in his restoration uh, process, uh, you need veterans to help these guys. And these two have been unbelievable on and off the floor. Um, and as we try to move forward and you know, in this offseason, uh, we would be looking to add some veterans. And so why not keep these guys who uh, really blend well with our guys and really help them along? And to have veterans, Grant, as you know, that can help you on the floor uh, as well as the locker room, it's hard to find that. They play with our guys. They don't try to overshadow them. Uh, they help them grow. And uh, we're, we're ecstatic, ecstatic about keeping those guys moving forward. You talk about the offseason, Troy. Uh, you'll have another lottery pick heading into the draft. A lot of money under the salary cap. But what do you feel like you need to accomplish in order to generate more wins and kind of get this thing headed back in the right direction? Uh, we need to get healthy and, and be cohesive. Uh, Kay been out. Uh, Marvin's been hurt. We've, we've had a string of bad luck with injuries. But getting the group healthy and continue to raise the ceiling with our talent. Uh, we think Wiseman helps that. Uh, we think another lottery pick will help that. Uh, and hopefully being able to add a free agent will help that as well. Uh, so the collection of the group, raising the ceiling on the talent and putting that together with the veterans we already have, uh, we expect to be able to move forward. The season obviously has not gone according to plan. For Pistons fans that may be getting frustrated with the restoration process, what's your message to them? Um continue to be patient like we are uh, the pieces are here we got young talent we got veterans uh, we just need to get healthy and be cohesive um, this is a time that we band together and, and, and stay connected our group has done that uh, regardless of the record uh, we got a great locker room and I would just see, say be patient because uh, the dam's going to break uh, and we're going to get there and a uh, big part of that is uh, getting K back healthy uh, and being able to add uh, this summer. But we're coming, and uh, we're going to get there. All right. I, I know it's been a day filled with media obligations for you. From what I understand, this is your last one. Way to go out on top, Troy. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the time. We'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks, All right. Uh, you know, if